So here we have paramedic student Alyssa Formosa. She's going to perform a cricothyrotomy on the mannequin here. Uh, she's going to put some tape to kind of heal the skin here in a second after she prepares all of her equipment. She's got herself a 5.5 ET tube with a cuff. Uh, we know it's out of the wrapper and we want to keep it in the wrapper. Jason, are you going to help her with that tape? Yeah. Thanks, buddy. This guy's kind of gone through the ringer, as you can tell. I got vocal cords here. But mine's like tight as fuck. All right. These are super tight. He said she would need to figure out what's meat and what's not So it's last ditch uh, emergency airway, surgical cricothyrotomy on an adult patient. We got our eye protection. We got our stethoscope ready. We got a bag valve mask. Ready. We've got dry sterile dressing, scalpel, betadine, um, lubricant. Make sure you lube that too because it's not going to want to go through that. And of course, some forceps. Mine is like first aid through puberty. It's really good. All right, we've got a patient that we're unable to ventilate, unable to oxygenate by any other means. So Alyssa is going to perform a surgical correct thyrotomy. Okay, so I'm going to make sure that the patient is supine, head and neck or midline, um, and in neutral position. I'm going to identify the thyroid, which is right here. Here's a peak, a valley, and then a peak. So I want to go in between the two peaks, which I found my landmark. I'm going to go ahead and prep it with the betadine. You can leave that in there. Prepping it. Okay, we've simulated the preparation. Then I'm going to take the scalpel, make sure it's away from me. I'm going to make a vertical line. Again, cutting away. So she's cutting from the thyroid cartilage to the cricoid cartilage in the cricothyroid membrane. Uh, one to two centimeter cut, I believe. Yeah, one to two centimeter cut. And then on a real person, we could spread that skin open and visualize the cricothyroid membrane, which would you could kind of see it. Sheet, white, sheet, shiny uh, piece of membrane, uh, sort of. Kind of. Okay. So go ahead and puncture it. So and when she makes the puncture, she's going to do that horizontally. And then she's going to take out her scalpel, flip it, and cl close it and flip it, and then use the other end of that to dilate the opening. Mm -hmm. Good. Now we could try to guide the tube through it with just that, or we could slide in our forceps. We have curved forceps here. You can do it that way or away from you. If you point the tips of that away from you, it might work even better. Okay, there we go. All right, so she's going to hold her cricothyroid stoma open. Introduce the 5.5 ET tube until the cuff passes the opening. Remove her stylet. She had it at a 90 degree angle. Now this tube, of course, is a traditional ET tube, so it's longer. And then she would ventilate and auscultate over the epigastrum and then over the lungs. And then what other confirmation devices would we use? And tidal. And tidal capnography. Or waveform capnography. So listen, listen, listen. And then secure the tube. And secure the tube. Thank you very much. Thank you.